I got to tell you something. There's a there's a line in a poem, the dangerous the dangerous Dan McGrew by Robert Service, and at the end of it's about a miner who is out and he comes back and this girl. Lou had basically used him, took all of his money, and, and you know, and then, but she was a floozy, and as soon as he was out of money, it was on to the next guy, which happened to be Dangerous Dan McGrew. But there's a line in it that says, have you ever felt like your life had been looted clean of all that it once held dear? And I got to tell you, I would have never dreamed that that was the feeling I was going to end up with. I feel completely disenfranchised. And I cannot, for the life of me, this is me, John Riggins talking here, I can't understand how anybody who once played under the, the, the old franchise name, the, the original franchise name, could possibly want to be a part of anything with Washington Commanders. It just, like I said, I feel completely disenfranchised. And it's like all of a sudden... You've entered oblivion. And, and I, I, you know, for the guys, I mean, everybody's going to make their own decision, and that's cool. The, you know, it's like the guys that showed up last week that were out there, Dexter and some of the other people, Joe Theismann and Mark Mosley and Doc Walker and all of For you guys, you've got a different point of view because it's like a different culture. But for John Riggins, and, I, and, and for the life of me, though, i, I got to say this, I kind of look at them and go, what's wrong with you? Don't you get it? You were invited to your own funeral. You got to, you know, view the... But not everybody looks at it that way, right. and you know, I, I think too much because I drive around you know for miles and miles without listening to a radio. So I got Turn my the own damn radio just a little bit. I got my own. Radio.